How's it going guys, Phantom Cave here with today's review. We have five, I think, comics included in today's episode 8 of the My Collections series and now have a look at them right now, so let's get into it. Today we have the 2016 Christmas special, we have the Thief 2017 annual um, a replica and the wedding gifts. So let's get into it. So this this 2016 Christmas special is basically it is got stuff to do with the recent story introduced in the 2020, 2019. Christmas special, which, yeah, is stuff to do with the Nomad, and if you haven't read that, that that comic in particular, and the, these ones, are very, very jam-packed in action, I'll tell you that right now, and, yeah, it's, this one was, I think, based around American comics, like usual, and yeah it's just pretty cool now this guy he he's the nomad and he's a very dangerous figure in these types of comics because he runs a lot of things and those things involve a lot of bad things like i said a lot of bad things and like i said like in these earlier videos when i've been doing these i got into these comics, the Phantom ones, obviously, I got into these, um, I got into these, like, four or three years ago, and, yeah, and it also has this comic in it, which is the Twins Futures, and it's pretty damn cool, because it has both the appearance of Kit, younger Kit, and her Lois, which, yeah, is getting featured a lot in these comics, particularly when we have a look at the new comic that, the Sunday new comic that had started this year or last year in the, in the Sunday Telegraph, and it, I haven't read much of that because the Sunday Telegraph in Australia had, I think, um... Because they didn't have that much space, and yeah, I think they put the Phantom out a little bit, so no one could actually read it in the Sunday Telegraph, but you could read it in the Daily Telegraph, which is a bit stupid. And I have not read these stories for a very, very long time, as you can see, and they're still pretty cool, and... Oh, uh, yeah, I do remember this story. It's got stuff to do with Mandrake, I think. Or a celebration of some sort. But I like how if you always, every year, they put the American comics, like, they're supposed to be in uh, colour, and they just, they put them in colour, and it's just pretty cool. Oh, this, yeah, I actually, I've got this comic in, like, strips of it, obviously, in, um, a strip I've got in my comic strip strapbook. Right. If you want that to be shown on this channel, comment down below. And, yeah. It's going to be pretty good when this 20, future 22nd, um, Phantom comes, and like we have a letters comments forum, we have a new thing that was ran back in um twenty early twenty seventeen. Um, uh, jigsaw puzzles. So yeah, I don't actually have them, but like, and also check this cover out. It's by done by the legendary Sal Voluto and. Yeah, my cover isn't that really hot to crash on, but still pretty good cover. And then we have 
a comic which is The Thief, number 1773, and it is pretty cool. It's where a young tribesman, I'm pretty sure, um, steals a thing from one of their tribes and then comes back, I think, 20 years later. And this, I think, is a Swedish, st Swedish story, I'm pretty sure. And I do love my Swedish stories most of the time. And now this this Heart of Darkness chapters, that's supposed, that is going to finish this year. So if you want me to do, I don't have all the chapters. So if you, if you can do like a big book or something, that'd be awesome. And then we have another forum, another ad for the jigsaw puzzles. And yeah, that, that cover's cool. Then we have the 2017 annual number 1774 and it goes around the uh, the girl phantom which and these contents was revised in when few got them wrong for some reason. I didn't really pick up on that when I was reading it but yeah. This comic, this... Um, 260 page comic is all about the girl phantom all about um all about the girl phantom and it's just pretty cool and i just i love these i think this is a charlton story yeah it looks like it no it's not a charlton story it's something else and plus it's in colour, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, this look this to me looks like a Charlton story. King Comics. No, it's from King Comics. Which is oh this is a Charlton story, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, uh, Riddle of the Witch. I haven't read this story for a very, very long time. It's about the girl phantom. Oh, this may be in King Comics or something like that. Um, this comic I have not seen for a fair while as well. The Secret of the Golden Ransom. Looks like a good story, but... Slaves Tra Railway. Haven't read this one either for a very long time. If you're still with us... Thank you for still joining us and keeping us with this series that we're going to be running a lot soon. I think every, I think two weeks we're going to be doing a video like this. And we have the prediction. Um, I'm trying to get through these pretty fast so that this video doesn't go on for so long. But still, it's still good to look at the um stories and the artwork i'm guessing and yeah this i reckon this looks like a um alex Safavik salvik or something yes yeah, salvaluto it looks similar to um alex zakovic which i think might have done the thief comic art i think I think going, going, yeah, it was. I'm pretty good with my names. Well, some, most of the time, I'm pretty good with my names. Yeah, and Julian the Witch Doctor. And yeah, I looked at my stats on the YouTube channel um, when I did this a video yesterday, and the. DC video, the DC video, um, yeah, if you want me to keep doing these phantom ones, that's all right by me, but, like, I feel like I need to do the DC, uh, like, sometimes, and this one looks pretty cool, look at the art, look at that colouring by some sort of person, looks like a good story, might need to read it again, I reckon, Oh, I do remember these, I didn't buy one, the 80th anniversary of the Phantom, 
Now, yeah, that that promo there was that story actually finished in uh, yet last year. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Then we have the replica of Kid Kidnapped Raja, and for, yeah, they didn't actually continue the replicas this year. They put in a Kid Phantom thing and a poster. So that's pretty cool. I know that a lot of people were backlashed about a um, few not putting a replica with this year's um, annual, but I, I I liked it, how they mix things up a bit. I think they're doing a good job. Now this, I think, is from 2017. Now this story, I think I remember a little bit. And it's a Swedish story, so it's going to be a good one, I reckon. But, yeah, it was a good story. And also, this, when I was actually getting these comics, my news agency, where I get them, is, we're not stocking them anymore. So I had to get them from a country town from my auntie over at Parks or something. And it's like five or six hours away from Sydney. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure these guys will be appearing in the, in the, what, the, um, Scorpio, and the Scorpio series that Fuel run in their giant size comics. Yeah, pretty sure, pretty sure these guys are going to be in it. Because we get a sneak peek at them at the end, and, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's going to be good, that giant size one. I absolutely love the giant size comics. I, I've got all of them. I've got one, issue 1 to issue 12. And if you want to subscribe to the YouTube channel, go down and subscribe. We've got this for next um, issue, next video. And this is a two-part story written and drawn by Lou Mena and coloured by Mike Coffey. Uh, on sale 23rd of Feb, which has already happened, I've already got it, full circle, I absolutely love that cover art and all the colouring in that, and like I said, if you want to subscribe, go down and subscribe, we're at, I think, 64 now, so we're getting there, so like, share, comment down below, and as always, keep on phantom caving.